My question is to the Minister for Veterans Affairs. Uh, what does today's census data reveal about the situation with veteran homelessness in Australia? And what is the Federal Labor Albanese government's plan to combat veteran homelessness? Give a call to the Minister for Veterans Affairs and the Minister for Defence Personnel. Thank you, Speaker. And I thank the member for Solomon for his question and his unwavering support for not just the veterans in the Darwin Palmerston area, but across this country, and especially those that are experiencing homelessness. One of the things that the 2021 census revealed to us last year was that there are some 581,000 people in Australia that have or are serving our Australian Defence Force. And the data that has been released today shows that on census night, 1,555 veterans were homeless. But in addition to those veterans that were homeless on census night, we also know that there are many that are experiencing marginal housing. Those are at risk of homelessness, those that are couch surfing, those that are staying with family and friends or in temporary accommodation in caravan parks or the like. That leaves these veterans in a very vulnerable position. And of course, for any veterans that are experiencing homelessness or feel that they're at risk of homelessness, I do ask them to contact the Department of Veterans Affairs on 1800 838 372 or open arms on 1800 Zero double one, zero four six. But I've been asked about what are we doing to support those veterans that are experiencing homelessness or at risk of homelessness. And the Labor government has an ambitious agenda when it comes to this issue. And of course, it is part of our $10 billion Housing Australia Future Fund plan, from which there will be $30 million that will go to supporting veterans experiencing homelessness and at risk of homelessness not just with, ho with housing itself, but with the wraparound services to support them. And I was quite happy to see that on Monday, Senator, Senator O'Sullivan, in the other place, was talking about the plans from the Royal Air Force Association of WA to build an Andrew Russell Veterans Living Centre based on the one in South Australia to support veterans in Western Australia. And I met with RAFA WA last year to talk about those plans. Earlier this year, I met with Vasey RSL from Victoria to talk about their plans for homelessness services to support veterans with wraparound services to support them. These are great plans that are coming forward from our ex-service organisations and housing sectors. Unfortunately, they can't act until we get access to the funding through the establishment of the Housing Australia Future Fund. So I say to Senator O'Sullivan Order. in the other place, I say to Senator O'Sullivan Order. in the other place, instead of being part of a Liberal, National, Green no coalition against the Housing Australia Future Fund, you all have an opportunity in the other place Order. to support this legislation and to support veterans the experiencing Minister homelessness and at risk of homelessness.